Hello everybody, I am Garrett Elysiums. Welcome to part 24 of my recent CD purchases. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help support my channel, get updates every time I post a video. So, uh, so right now I'm dealing with uh, some seasonal allergies, so excuse my voice or if I have to sniff or cough or whatever. Uh, keep it hydrated, it helped me out. So we, we, like I said, we have a nice stack here. This is what I'm excited about. This is a really good haul. Uh, one of the best ones I've got in a while. Basically all from local CD stores and a couple from Amazon and one from eBay. We're going to get right into it. Uh, first, they got Behemoth. This is the latest by them. I Loved You at Your Darkest. And this is the special limited edition digibook. Uh, gold's disc. Kind of opens up like an envelope here. Folds out there. See the gold disc. Really cool stuff from Behemoth. I feel like they get better on each album. Next, Rush Hemispheres. This is the deluxe edition, 40th anniversary, two disc set. Uh, disc one is the original album, remastered. And disc two is a live disc uh, featuring live at Pink Pop Festival, June 4th, 1979. There's a whole set from there. And then also has 2112, the song, um, all seven parts live from 1978. That's cool stuff there. Obviously, you can see this is different artwork than the original Hemispheres. They did change up the artwork, Rush did, on some of these 40th anniversaries. Uh, another deluxe edition, Sticky Fingers, my favorite Rolling Stones album. Two disc set, features the first disc remastered, which is basically just a regular remaster that you can get in a single disc. Uh, second disc is basically 10 tracks. First, it kind of follows the track listing of the album so you got brown sugar with eric clapton wild horses done acoustically alternate versions of can't you hear me knocking bitch and dead flowers and then the last five songs are just live tracks uh, live at the roundhouse 1971 uh latest by trivium this is in the court of the dragon Some cool like roman artwork there I haven't listened to this one yet i've heard a couple songs off it it's pretty decent so, ready to give that one a listen. Next, I got King Diamond with Abigail 2, The Revenge. I'm a big fan of Abigail. I love Abigail. I love them, Conspiracy. Uh, amazing band he had on that. This one does feature Andy LaRock on guitar. Uh, not as strong as the original Abigail, but it's cool to hear the theme again. Then I grabbed the greatest hits of Social Distortion. I have a good amount of Social Distortion studio albums, but this one has the track Far Behind, which I believe was recorded just for the CD. And I always liked that track a lot. I, I did own this. I remember buying it when it came out. Don't know what happened to it. So I now own it again. Then we have Motorhead, BBC Live and In Session. This is a two disc set. Disc one, BBC Radio One, John Peel In Session from 1978. Also, a uh, live from Paris Theatre in London, 79. Disc 2, BBC from 81, and BBC from 86. 22 tracks together on the two discs. Then we have Creator, the Noise Records Anthology, under the guillotine. Cool hard digipack there. You got the two disc set, the booklet. Uh, so basically goes by from each album that's covered on here uh also cover stuff for the eps creator great thrash german thrash band so yeah basically every stuff everything from endless pain up to 1992's renewal and then you got the eps there and single compilations which are also featured on this and really cool ladder notes in there <laughs> excuse me and then sticking to extreme metal we got mashuga this is Immutable. This is the latest from Emma Sugar, released on Atomic Fire Records. 13 tracks total. I have not listened to this yet, but I did hear some really good things about it. I heard it's really technical, uh, very proggy metal, very extreme. So looking forward to throwing that on. Uh, then we got Steel Panther. Feel the Steel. Never end the CD. This is more of like a joking one, uh, but it's, it's cool stuff to listen to. Uh, Megadeth. Warheads on foreheads. 
basically a three disc compilation of I don't want to say greatest hits, uh, but I guess we can because they don't really have a. I would say Megadeth is really a greatest hits fan. Uh, yeah, they were played on the radio back in the early '90s, late '80s. They were all over MTV, but I don't feel like they have as many well-known songs. They're not really played on the radio today. Basically, it's just um, their biggest song, the most well-known song by them, Peace Sells, is actually not featured on this. Uh, other songs from Peace Sells is on this, like Conjuring, Wake Up Dead, Devil's Island, and Black Friday. Uh, but no Peace Sells, which I thought was kind of odd. Next, we have the Ramones. Their second album, the sophomore album, Leave Home. Great album. The, what's cool about this remastered disc is uh, features the original 15 tracks and then 16 live tracks live to Roxy Hollywood of August 1976. So right there you have an entire live set to follow up the original album, which I think is pretty cool instead of just throwing you know, B-sides and rarities, outtakes like that. Just put a whole live set on there. Then uh, I'm glad to have this back again, Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell was the uh, basically Black Sabbath uh, with Dio. It's basically the mob rules set up. Tony Iommi, Vinnie Peace, Apizé. I always mess his name up. Same thing with Carmine. Uh, obviously, Geezer Butler and Ronnie James Dio. This is called The Devil You Know. It does have the hit song Bible Black on here. But this is actually really rare. I believe it's out of print now, so it's kind of hard to find. Then this is one from Amazon. Bloodfire Death from Bathory. This is uh, the black metal kings when they're kind of going towards the mytholo mythological Nordic Viking metal, but still keeping the extreme black metal components of it. Led Zeppelin III. Um, I've owned many copies of this, but this is the deluxe edition with the second disc of the outtakes, alternate version, things like that. So I'm glad to finally have this in my collection. This was the last Led Zeppelin Deluxe remaster that I needed to complete my complete collection. Then we got the Rolling Stones on air BBC sessions. This is the Deluxe 2 disc edition. I do own the standard Jewel disc edition, which is just one disc. This features uh, disc 2 with bonus tracks, basically 14 more tracks on there. BBC recording. Excuse me. Whew. Next up, Iron Maiden, live at Donington. Okay, this is uh, one of the remasters that when you put them together, they form Eddie's face. Two disc set. This is kind of a rare CD to find also. This is out of print. Not sure if they're going to re-release this and remaster it. Uh, really cool live set from 93. Basically one of the last live sets before Bruce Dickinson would leave and before he obviously would return in 2000. 99 2000 next up flight 666 of iron maiden this is a live set two disc set kind of a similar set list to live after death but this is from 2009 i believe 2009 basically all around the world this is a soundtrack to a documentary slash concert movie of iron maiden called flight 66 where bruce dickinson is actually a licensed pilot and he actually flies the plane to each one of their tour dates which is pretty cool uh, I believe this is the latest by Dream Theater, Distance Over Time. As I mentioned before, I'm starting just to get into Dream Theater slowly. So I saw this. I believe this is the newest one from 2019. Uh, they actually, when they just released it, I don't really remember. Anyway, looking forward to checking that out. Then I grabbed the deluxe edition of Motorhead's Orgasmatron, two disc, disc set, excuse me. Disc 1 is the original album remastered. Disc 2 has some bonus tracks. And then uh, a live set from Caster Great Dartmouth. I can barely read what it says. October 13th, 1984. I can see that. So yeah, there's a live set on the second disc. Uh, coming in next, the real Incubus. The extreme metal Incubus. Not the uh, alternative rock new metal Incubus with Brandon Boyd as the singer. Uh, so basically, this band is now known as Opprobrium. A uh, lawsuit forced them to change their name, which I never really understood because this band had the name first. But I guess the other Incubus had a lot more money behind them, had a big record label behind them as Epic Records, and they uh, 
wound up winning out. So this Incubus decided to, they had to change their name to Opprobrium. This is the actual Incubus, though not under the Opprobrium name. So as you can see, they're a different cover. Still find the same CD, just with Opprobrium written on it. This was released by Brutal Records. So I don't know this is 100% official because of the name change. Uh, needed this masterpiece, Possessed, Seven Churches. Got this one off of Amazon as well. Uh, basically the, the birth of death metal right here, extreme metal. Really cool stuff. And then I picked up the deluxe edition of Grateful Dead's album. Uh, basically it's self-titled from 71, Grateful Dead. Two disc set. It's a two LP set of just a live set. I own the single disc. This is the double disc. Disc two is a complete show from the Fillmore West of 1971, which was previously unreleased. And what's cool about this is you do get the booklet and you also get this really nice sticker. I almost want to use it, but it's too nice to, I got to keep it with the CD. Uh, next up, I got this off eBay, Static X debut album, Wisconsin Death Trip. I owned this many times. I haven't found my most recent copy. Turns out this was kind of uh, hard to find again. So glad to get this off eBay for a decent price. Great, great uh, debut from the new metal legend, Static X. Uh, next we have Deep Purple. This is the uh, from the live overseas series. This is live in Copenhagen, 1972. Two disc set. I own a couple of these uh, live series from overseas. The only thing I do not like about them though is they just kind of stack the CDs on top of each other. So, could have done a little better with that. Next up, another one of the bootleg series from Bob Dylan. This is Trouble No More, uh, volume 13, 1979 to 1981. Basically covers his uh, gospel era with uh, Saved, Shot of Love, and uh, Slow Train Coming. All together, you got 30 tracks on here spread out over two CDs. And as always, you get the nice thick booklet in there, which comes with all these bootleg series CDs. And they do a great job with that stuff. All right, last one I had to show. 40th Anniversary Edition, The Farewell to Kings by Rush. This is a three-disc set. Disc one is the original album remastered. Disc two is a live disc live at the Hammersmith Odeon. February 20th, 1978. And disc three... Um, is the continuation of that show and there's also some cover songs on here at, towards the bottom not done by rush just rush songs covered by other bands such as dream theater doing xanadu uh i don't know these other bands big wreck doing close to the heart the trues doing cinderella man uh Aline johannes doing madrigal and cygnus x2 done by wait a minute Cyg yeah cygnus Cygnus X to EH. So I guess the man's name is EH. I don't know. Anyway, that is my most recent CD purchases. Now I'm going to go about my day and have to put them back in this shelf behind me. That'll take me a couple hours, but I like doing it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. Please hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.